Hi everyone. So we are back at it again with another hacker rank. So today we are doing this question about grid challenge. It's a it's a question on like trying to traverse through the grid both in terms of a row and also in terms of a column. That's how I understood it when I skimmed through when I when I read it through just now. So yeah, given a square grid of characters in range uh, A to Z. Rearrange the elements of each row alphabetically ascending. Alphabetically ascending. Each row alphabetically ascending. Determine if the columns are also in increasing order. Increase also in ascending alphabetical order, top to bottom. So yeah, it should be ascending this way and also ascending from A, B, A, like A, E should also be ascending. Okay. So return yes if they are and no if they are not. So yeah, B, D, F, C, G, they are all like not, uh, they are in ascending order. So yeah, uh, the grid is illustrated below. The rows are already in alphabetical order. So the columns, yeah, okay. They're just repeating what I said and yada, yada, yada. And yep, so we need to traverse something. And let's say this is the array. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So we need a way to, I'm guessing these are all arrays as well. Okay, so basically we need to check this. If this is row-wise, it is ascending order. And then we need to check if it is column-wise ascending order. So, and we need to do it in a very time complex, uh, like in a very time efficient manner because, uh, yeah, time is of the essence. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's scroll down a bit more. Uh, yeah, so this, in this test case, they have given us, oh, okay. They said yes for this. So that means we can rearrange. Okay, yes. Okay, my bad guys. Uh, they do mention that we can rearrange them and they mention that only elements within the same row can be rearranged, not the column. So yeah, within a, so I'm guessing we have to sort the thing as we go, like we need to traverse each row independently. And as we are traversing the row, we can sort the entire row. So the best case in this is we keep all the lowest in one side and the highest in another side because the lowest versus the lowest is a higher chance of going in ascending order than the lowest, the lowest fighting the highest. Or like if it's in a random order, we won't be able to systematically eliminate the possibility where we are getting both alphabetically this way and alphabetically this way. So as, in, as they have given us a clue, they, they gave us a clue already. They said rearrange elements of each row alphabetically, then consider if they are alphabetically column-wise as well. So we'll just follow that instruction. And with that, I think we can get straight into coding it out. So that is the explanation for the code. Now I'll be attempting to code it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first traverse through each row. So before that, let's just print out and see what we have, what we are working with. Okay. So yeah, we are just getting an array of different strings. Interesting to see that they are strings and not array of arrays. So, but it doesn't make a difference for us. Like, uh, it, there's really no difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for I in range, len grid. I'm going to get each string, like the each send, uh, word, and I'm going to sort it out. So I'm going to say sorted uh, grid I. So this would make me look at the first row. So in this case, E, B, A, C, D would be over here. A would be, would be um, shuffled into A, B, C, D, E. Sorted works over here because um, Python has a way of just arranging them according to the ASCII numbers. And, and yeah, ASCII numbers, you can sort them out just like a normal integer array. Anyways, yeah, we are sort, A is equal to sorted something. And after I sorted the new array, I need to 
for J in range len A. It doesn't need to be A. It can just be like grid. Like we're just trying to find the length because I'm assuming each string would be of the same length. So it could be any uh, length, but let's just do this. Uh, for J in range length, I am... What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, okay. I need to firstly... Uh, okay, so this is my strategy, actually. I'm traversing through each row, right? If any of the rows... Uh, by default, all the rows can be sorted into alphabetical. So we are not finding any like uh, benefit of finding out if they are al in alphabetical order. Because a sorted will just automatically make all the rows alphabetical. The challenge comes in the row-wise. So how I'm going to tackle this is I'm going to create a dictionary for each row, like sorry, each column. So column one, I will append this and say column one is A, column B, column two is B, column three is C. And the next time I go down, it'll be column one, I'm checking D against A. So I'm like, I'll have D. I do have column one in the dictionary. I'm trying to see what is the previous column? Is my current item bigger than the previous item in the column? If yes, I'm just going to append this. I mean, not append. I'll just change the column value to this. And then I will say, uh, I'll just continue. But if it's not, I can just terminate the program and, say, and just return the value. I'll just be like, uh, row wise has failed. And yeah, I'll just say no. And if I'm able to traverse through the whole thing, I'll just return true then. I'll return yes. So that's my plan. Uh, for J in range, something, something. Okay. So now I'm going to find the item is equal to a j and item is equal to a j and I'm going to create a dictionary at the top dictionary whoops after I create the dictionary I'm going to see if if item in dick, okay, no, if item not in dick, okay, I, I re realize it sounds not so pleasant, but if item in dictionary, I'm going, if item is not in dictionary, I'm going to append it into the dictionary. So item, no, no, not item, index, the, the, the row, sorry, the columns index must be inside. So the column index is J. So dictionary J is equal to item. Item. So else, so if it is already inside, the next challenge that I have is if, uh, that means the item is in dictionary. If dictionary J is smaller than equal to, is it smaller than equal to or e smaller than alone? Basically, I'm checking if the current item that I have is smaller than the this item, like, like the new item that I found. If it is smaller, I'm going to return no. So um, I'm able to do this because if, the next, if the if the next item like D is smaller than A, I know that it's not alphabetically ascending anymore because I cannot rearrange according to the row, uh, according to uh, I cannot rearrange by columns. I cannot rearrange by rows. So if it is smaller than or equal to item, I'm going to return no. Else, I'm just going to do the same thing as this. I'm going to create an item inside the dictionary, and I'm going to change the new. I'm going to just change the item's value. So something like, if item not in dictionary, dictionary J is equal to item uh, else. That means if it is inside dictionary, I'm going to check if dictionary J is lesser than equal to item. If it is lesser than equal to item, I'm going to return no. Else, I'm going to just change. The, that means it is bigger. Uh, like it is in the ascending order. Then I'm just going to replace the, the column key value. Look, like like column one's new value will now be D because from here on, I'm just going to compare against the new value. And that's it. 
if I'm able to pass through all of this, that means I didn't hit this failing condition at any single point of time. I just return. Yes. And with that, I think we are good to go. Oh, okay. Did I miss some condition? Okay, let me try submitting this. I will know how many test cases I fail. All of them? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Item is a dot j. Okay. A A E is counted. So okay, it if it is equal to, it is counted, right? Yeah, it's lesser than or equal to. It doesn't need to be larger than, oh wait, no. If it's equal to, it's fine. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so hopefully this makes it, this fixes it. It still doesn't. Hmm, interesting. Yes, I know, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I think I just figured out what went wrong. Um, and it is quite the dumb dumb. Uh, so what happened is right now I'm appending everything. Like if I'm creating a new item into the column, I'm at, into the dictionary. I'm basically putting it, putting the item into the column index in the dictionary. But when I'm checking if the item is, um, but I'm checking if the item is inside the dictionary, not if the column is inside the dictionary. So what happens is I'm referencing to a, to a column every single time when I'm doing this. So I'm like, if item, okay, I think you guys get it. If item is in dictionary. If item is not in dictionary, then you keep adding to column. I'm like saying one is equal to item. When I go to the next line, I'm just finding a new item and that item is obviously not inside the dictionary. And I'm just adding, I'm key, I just keep adding things into the dictionary. Like this, I'm just doing this nonstop. Hence, I will always get yes, I will never get no. So the failing condition is never being met. So I think I will clear everything. I'm so sorry. I think right now this code should work because I'm checking if the column is inside the dictionary. And yeah, let's send, submit this. Whew. Finally, that took some, yeah, made me, it got me scared for a while. Anyways, that was Hackerang Grid Challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, I'm constantly learning as well. So be patient with me. I'm so sorry if you guys had, were losing your patience, like screaming at the screen, like telling me to fix it. Um, yep. Yeah. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next Hackerang Challenge and bye.